All right, gang, Lee Lowell here from smartoptionseller.com. You know what time it is. It's time to look at the charts, right? If you're an options trader, talk about this every week when I make these free videos for the community. If you want to trade options, whether you're buying calls, buying puts, selling calls, selling puts, spreads, whatever, you got to know what the, where the stock is going. You got to look at the stock charts. The only way to figure out where the stock may or may not be going is looking at the stock charts. Using the fundamental data is fine and all, which is, you know, earnings per share and the revenue and P /E ratios, all that good stuff. OK, but all that that information gets factored into the stock charts. So if you're going to trade options, you have to figure out where the stock is or isn't going. Now, I got a lot of emails this week. Stock market's making all time new highs again. I get tons of emails this week from readers, viewers complete strangers that are telling me, Lee, the market just can't go any higher. There has to be a bear market or, you know, some kind of pullback happening. The market just getting too high. And I'll always say to these people the same thing. What do you know about the market? The market is all knowing. The market is the market and it is what it is. If the market wants to go up. It's going to go up. It doesn't care what you think. It doesn't care if you think there's a recession coming. Interest rates are too high. Market can't go up any more than that. Why do you think you know more than the market? You don't. I've been in this business for over 30 years now. I've seen how it works. You can't bet against the market. The best way to see what the market is doing is just follow the trends. If the market's going up, then it's in an uptrend. Don't fight the trend. The trend is your friend. You're going to hear that all the time. Why try to pick bottoms and pick tops? You're only going to get burned pretty badly. All right. So don't think that you know more than the market. There's millions and millions of people playing in the market every day. So your one single opinion is not going to overpower the, all the other hundreds of millions of people that are playing, especially people that have a lot more money than all of us pushing the market around. All right. So just go with the trends and it will be your best friend. All right, so what we do every week, we look at the charts. I'm gonna show you the indexes, individual stocks, show you what I'm seeing, show you my setups, and I'm here to help you become a better options trader. All right, so let's just jump right in. Let me make myself a little bit smaller here. So as we do each week, we always look at the general market as a whole, which is the S&P 500. For those of you that are new here, we always start Look, by looking at the exchange traded fund for the S&P 500, which is the SPY. You follow my mouse up here in the top corner, the SPY, that's the symbol SPY. This is the exchange traded fund. Okay, so the market's just been killing it since October 2022. Okay, been going up, had this little pause last summer, and then October 2023 right here, the market has just been in this powerful, powerful uptrend. Now you see these channels here. These are hand-drawn channels. These are very easy to draw. After the market you know, has made a move for you know, two or three months, that's what I consider how a trend is beginning. OK, at least the length of a trend. It's got to be a couple months. OK, so then what you do is you draw the lines, you connect some tops, you connect some bottoms, and there you have your channels. OK, the channels are a great way to see which way a market or stock is trending. And if you want to get involved, then you wait for the bounce off the bottom or you wait for the bounce off the top. OK, that's the best way to play the trends. You got to go with the trends. This is the spy. This is the general market. Here we finished Friday, March 1st, 2024. All time new highs yet again. The market just wants to go up. Why are there so many people thinking that the market's going to go down? All right, well, I'll give you some reasons. Uh, interest rates may be too high. We got geopolitical risk out there. A couple wars going on. You got political mess in the, in the U.S. Um, what else? Anything else you can think of. There's always people that are going to think that the market just can't go up any higher. Well, here we are. All time new highs. You know, you may have been thinking the market can't go up any higher from here. And then you may be thinking it can't go up any higher than here. And then it can't go up any higher than here. And it just keeps going up. And you keep trying to sell calls or, or get in bearish positions. And it keeps killing you. You're losing money. OK, stick with the trend. That's how it works. It's pretty simple. So for those of you that are new again, here's here's how I have my setup. This is the chart. This is the price action up here in this half of the screen up here. OK, these are one each one of these lines is one day's worth of trading. I look at daily 
charts, okay, for the most part to see the long term trend. I don't, you know, these are this is a one minute chart. So each bar is one minute's worth of trading. If you want to be a hyperactive trader, you can try to trade off one minute charts, three minute charts, five minute charts. It's really hard to do. You're going to be glued to the screen all day, every day, getting, you know, thrown back and forth. It's very emotional, emotionally taxing. And it, and it and it's tough. It's tough to do. I like to take a longer term view using the charts, the daily charts. OK, so here's the, the price action up here. I only use very minimal amount of indicators. I use three moving averages. I got a blue line up here, which is the 20 day. I got a red line, 50 day and the screen line 200 day moving averages. Those are the only three moving averages I use. And those are the only three that you can choose to use as well. Widely followed by many, many, many participants. OK, so when price action gets near a moving average, the price action tends to, to make the same movements because everyone's following the same thing. OK, and down here is what's called the RSI indicator. It's an oscillator. It oscillates between overbought and oversold levels based on the price action that you see up here. Here's the 80 level up top, 20 level down at the bottom. You can change those to suit your needs. I use 80 and 20. So it just gives me an idea when a market's getting a little overheated and when a market's getting a little oversold a turn could be coming in the near future okay so that's what you so the market just looks strong i mean what what else, what is out there that's going to do derail this uptrend i really don't see anything there's just you know everyone knows that there's wars going on everyone knows that interest rates are high you have to remember and i say this every each and every week the stock market isn't just made up of numbers flashing across the screen and it's not it's not just made up of these squiggly lines the market is made up of real companies and these companies are creating real products that people, real people buy with their own money. And if these companies keep pumping out products that people will continually buy, then the revenues and earnings of that company is going to go up, which means the stock price will follow along. That's just how it works. OK, so the stock market over time, over the long run, let's look at the long term chart of the S&P 500 you will see it going back to the early 1990s. And we know the market's been around a lot longer than that. Just my my data doesn't show me anything further than that. The market goes up over time. And this is all this is, you know, the, the recessions and the wars and COVID right here and anything else that you can think of. Ukraine, Russia invasion, everything gets bought back up why because companies keep pumping out products and people keep buying these products that's how it works okay yes there's going to be times when we have pullbacks covid uh russia ukraine um recession 2008 2009 but it gets bought back up because these companies stick around and they keep pumping out products. All right. So let's go ahead. That's this is the 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 spy, the SP 500. The market looks strong. I'm not going to fight the trend. OK, uh, it's not completely overbought yet. So they probably could keep going higher. All right. So if you wanted to get in, let me show you your your higher probability setups. We talk about this each and every week. If you want to get long a market, if the market's going up or the stock's going up and it's in an uptrend, you wait for a pullback to the 20 day moving average or a pullback to the bottom edge of the channel. Look how perfectly it's been working. A strongly trending stock will hug along the 20 day moving average better than anything else once when it's strongly trending. So your last opportunity to buy the S&P 500 if you wanted to get in was right here, which was February 21st on this day. See how it bounced right off the bottom edge and the 20 day moving average. You can't really see both. There's you got the bottom edge of the channel and the 20 day moving average kind of on top of each other. And the market has just taken off since. Now, we may be getting a little bit towards overbought areas, possibly. Um, I'd like to see a little pullback because I want to get in long again. And for our newsletter readers, I like to get in long again as well. What do we do here at the Smart Option Seller? We sell put options. We sell put option credit spreads. Though that is our bread and butter. Give me, let me give you an idea of what we do here. Quickly run over to our website, smartoptionseller.com. It's all about put selling. If you don't know anything about put selling, Go to our website, smartoptionseller.com. Click on right here the header free the free ebook. Put selling basics is the book that I wrote. It's all about what selling puts are, uh, put selling is, however you want to say it. 
the greatest strategy of all time, the greatest option strategy of all time, I, in my opinion. Scroll down, read a little bit about it, put your name and email address in it here. We'll send you an email back with a link to get the free ebook, okay? Also, um, some of our services that we have, here's our services tab we run, here's our two newsletters that we run all about selling puts and selling put option credits as we have our coaching sessions if you want to get a little help we have our one-on-one -on -one coaching and we also have our five-part video series deep dive into put selling i'm also taking um taking polls now if if anyone wants to get involved with another uh zoom webinar in-depth put selling webinar uh, live uh, over zoom so if you go to in the in the YouTube channel here, and I'll pull that up as well. If you go to the community link in my YouTube channel, uh, here's something that I that I put in here, and you can vote yes or no if you have any interest in a potential future webinar on put selling. All right, so let's go back to the charts and talk about that's the S P 500. Let's look at the triple Qs, which is the exchange traded fund for the Nasdaq. I don't have the channels drawn on here, but obviously you can see the same thing. Here we are, March 1st, Friday, 2024, all time new highs again. Just look at how this has just beautifully been going up over time, hugging along the 20 day moving average, a strongly trending stock or index is gonna hug along the 20 day moving average. Had the pullback here towards the 200 day moving average. This was the last goodbye area this was october last october 2023 the mark's just been going up since so everything looks strong i don't really see anything that's going to derail the market if the market has a pullback in my opinion it's a buying opportunity you know it's not real live recommendations just my you know my two cents on what i think the market uh, is going to be doing let's look at the diamonds which is the exchange traded fund for the dow industrials again has hit all-time new highs um, not this week but last week hit all-time new highs still a nice tr strongly trending market you know this i can't say it in many more ways than that all right so let's start looking at some individual stocks and we're going to look at more popular stocks these are the stocks most of these nasdaq stocks are really trending the most um, emails or questions i get are about SMCI Super Microcomputer. Here's the symbol up here, SMCI. Talked about this last week too. Look how this incredible stock just went from 300 almost up to 1100. Had the pullback. I talked about this last week. It's probably gonna, uh, it has to digest such a massive move like this. It has to pull back and do a little digesting. So we had a little bit of the pullback here, digesting, ended the week on, a, on you know, on this up move here you know almost pulled back to the to 20 day moving average you can see when, when a market has a really strong move like this it has the pullback a little bit the 20 day moving average moves up at the same time so you get price action coming down moving average coming up and you can see right here how it almost touched the 20 day moving average before it bounced again and then it came back here almost bounced again off the 20 day moving average starting to move up again so if next week if the market's strong again smci prop could break all-time new highs again it may go above 1100 so people are asking me you know what do you how do you play this thing it's incredible um you know this this stock has some really good opportunities on the downside and i'm talking if you're bullish you can sell like deep 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 out of the money put options on this thing you know four hundred dollars out of the money you know in one week's expiration you know i don't like to do stuff like that but you know if you're interested and are willing to potentially buy uh smc at 500 a share or even 400 a share you can look to sell some put options these are deep out of the money put options for a week or two out in the future you may be able to get you know some a little bit of money for those so keep an eye on smci next week if the market's strong again this thing's going to keep going all right so that's smci um let's look at nvidia the one of the other strongest stocks in the market uh almost hit a new all-time high you can see so some people might call this a double top where a stock or index makes a all-time high here or a new high has a pullback and then creates another high and almost uh, makes the same same level as the first high and some people will call this a double top which is a bearish 
type of pattern. So we're going to draw a little line here and we're going to come back to this next week if I'm still around and I can make another video. We're going to see if this double top actually holds and brings the market or the or Nvidia down with it, okay? You can also see I just got this nice strong uptrend got a little overbought right here. You can see the RSI was overbought right in this price action here and then it came back down had the blew off some of that steam and then started the rise again this is another thing that some people will say we have a bearish divergence here we're, meaning the price action makes a new high but the rsi doesn't make a new high which means that the buying could be um having less and less uh, exertion on the market okay so you would think if the if the stock index makes a new high the rsi should make should be making new highs as well you can see right here made a high and the rsi did not meet the, the highs of this last move so potentially nvidia could come back off this double top maybe come across and connect with the 20-day moving average and then start another uptrend or it could just blast right through it on money we don't know what's going to happen yet um, if the market's strong nvidia is going to keep going to more all-time new highs if the market is a little weak next week we'll have the pullback the the 20-day moving average will move up as well maybe the two will meet somewhere here in the middle and then continue on its move higher so a lot of these stocks i understand you know it's kind of hard to get into these things they just keep going up it's like insane how these stocks keep moving the way they do and you're like it just can't keep going can it and there's a point where you just you, sometimes you just have to give in and, and just watch and, and and wait for that pullback but if that pullback happens are you going to take the opportunity and get in at that point a lot of people get scared they don't want to pull the trigger they they always look in hindsight saying oh, i should have done this should have done that well you know are you going to take the opportunity to buy nvidia if you want to get long nvidia and wait for the pullback and see what happens so nvidia real strong here um, just like these other nasdaq stocks let's look at costco another biggie that just keeps going up great company and these are great companies too these aren't fly-by-night companies that you know I, I don't want to use amc as the example but when amc had that that move up and then it just crapped out you know that's just amc is you know a dying a dying company so here's the, here was the move in amc so this was back in the summer of 2021 and it just powered higher over 700 dollars a share and then look what amc's done since then okay you know you really can't compare amc to a company like costco right and costco's just had this nice move up like everything else since october of 2023 just moving see how beautifully it, it moves along the 20-day moving average a strongly trending stock wait for your higher probability setup here's your higher probability setup went up almost vertical got overbought had the pullback to the 20-day moving average here's your higher probability bullish setup if you wanted to get long costco this would have been the spot right here once you saw it starting to move up again and look what it's done been incredible that would have been 650 up to 750 that would have been a nice hundred dollar move for right now maybe getting a little overbought again maybe have a little pullback to the 20-day moving average but these stocks keep moving so strongly they they you know if you get if, if it pulls back it may only be a one-day pullback so if you don't pull the trigger you know this is even hard for a veteran like myself i mean these stocks are just incredibly strong so you you really have to sometimes just close your eyes and and and, and click the mouse and and hit the buy button what else we have meta facebook is just here is the, the earnings and just powered higher and still going higher all-time new highs it's been unbelievable keeps going that 20 look at how it just kind of moved along the 20 day and the 50 day right here but just had that nice kind of curvy upwards motion and then the blast off right here people will say how could it keep going up why not why why, why does it have to pull back just use the trend and, and 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 it'll help your options trading game as well so all these stocks look strong i, I will admit some of them are hitting some heights where it, it doesn't seem feasible but you can't argue with the market as, as i think greenspan said that one time the market could remain irrational longer than you could remain solvent meaning if you try to keep picking tops like this and, and selling the market and it keeps going up on you 
you're going to go bankrupt. So go with the trend, even though sometimes the trend just doesn't seem realistic. You know, that's just how it is. We like to sell put options. Like we don't like to try to predict where the market's going. We like to try to predict where the market or the stock isn't going. So in my opinion, with a strong stock like this, it's more apt to not fall back all the way down to here. Um, I think it's going to go up. I'd rather not try to pick a pick a price and pick a time. I'd rather just pick a, a level down here where I'm pretty, pretty sure it's not going to fall to. And that's how we sell put options. We do it that way. All right, let's go through our list here a little bit more and see what else we got. Netflix, just another strong stock. We've been trying to sell a put option credit spread on Netflix and we just missed it. We were trying to get in. We were trying to get in right around here as it was coming uh, uh, off the 20 day moving average and it just moved a little bit too fast for us to get in and now it's kept moving higher is this all time this is all time new highs for netflix let's just take a double oh no not yet two seven hundred dollars is the all-time high for netflix so it's still got a little little room to run you know it's gonna gun for that seven hundred dollar level so keep an eye on netflix uh apple is another uh love stock but not looking so good right now Apple is not participating in the move higher. You can see right here, it's starting this little down move and it's fallen below all the moving averages here. It's just the 20 day and 50 day are sloping down. The 200 day is still kind of sloping up, but, but, but it might get that little turn over word, turn downwards here. So Apple is, you know, hanging by a thread here. Um, eventually the bottom feeders will come out but for right now i'm probably going to stay away from apple until i see some confirmed uptrend action here so my apple does not look as strong as these other nasdaq stocks uh amazon and and you notice we're looking at all these these tech stocks and we're going to look at some some dow stocks too that aren't really doing anything amazon going higher hugging along the the 20 day moving average, you know, your higher probability setups right here as it pulls back to the 20 day moving average and then it jumps higher again. So if you're looking to sell puts or buy calls or buy call spreads, wait for your higher probability setups is when it, it makes a new high, but then it pulls back, connects with the 20 day moving average and then starts the the up move again. And then you're getting back on the trend. That's how, that's how you do smarter options trading um what else let's see what else oh amd another beloved stock i love amd you know i've talked about it all the time look at this all time new highs and look how it just powered higher over 200 dollars a share hugging along the 20 day moving average this is what stocks do when they're in a strong uptrend even micron is getting in on the action on the the computer chip action micron looking good is that all time highs for micron let me see. Oh, look at this. So we've got one, two, three. We could have like a quadruple quadruple top here. I'm going to put this on the charts and we will refer back to this in the future. So we've got the top here and let's see if uh, Micron could get through these all time highs, you know, right around ninety seven, ninety eight dollars a share. So let's see what happens. Quadruple quadruple top. I'm having trouble saying that. Will it get knocked back down or will it blast through to, to more new all time highs? So that's Micron. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we talk about Tesla. Tesla, you know, I'm not a fan. Uh, I've been saying this for weeks, just in this downtrending channel, just kind of hovering around here. All the moving averages are crisscrossing each other. That's just means indecision. Nobody really knows what to do with Tesla. I don't know what to do with Tesla, so I'm not playing Tesla. Walmart, also a great company, doing well. Um, Microsoft, another strong NASDAQ stock. You can see here, look at this. Um, this could have been the buy opportunity for Microsoft. You know it's going higher. Is it going to break this 420 level, get, get above this last high here? It looks like it wants to move up. If I was to, to lay a bet, bullish bet, I'd be buying, you know, potentially call options or call option credit spreads or selling puts or selling put option credit spreads on, on Microsoft. I'll have to take another look there, see when the earnings comes out as well. We don't like to hold positions over earnings announcements. So, but keep an eye on this 420 level. If the market's strong next week, Microsoft is definitely going to go above 420. Let's see what else we have here. 
Uh, PayPal. I know someone had emailed me about PayPal. Wanted to look at PayPal, and we'll look at Disney as well. PayPal, as we, you can see, you know, as we move down here, here's the 200-day moving average. All the moving averages are either sloping down or right on top of each other. Uh, PayPal could be gearing up for a move. Let's put on the the congestion pattern here. Okay, so PayPal could be getting ready to to break out of this triangle congestion pattern. Which direction? You know, it's been down in the dumps for so long. Any bullish move could get this thing going. But, you know, if you follow along with the trend, the, 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 the more likely path is going to be down. But it's been down for so long, could pop up. So if, if the volatility is cheap on uh, PayPal, you know, maybe you, you look at, you know, buying a straddle, which is you buy a call and a put so you get covered on both sides. You know, if the, the blast out occurs, it's going to blast out pretty strong in one direction or another. So maybe take a look at some straddles on PayPal. Let's look at Disney. Disney finally had its breakout. We were, we had talked about the 80 level for so long. Finally had that breakout last October and looking pretty good here. Um, potential 112 area right here. If if the market's strong next week, Disney will most likely get above 112 and keep going for that next leg higher. Okay, so that's Disney. Follow the trends. Um, Warren Buffett, man, I mean, if there's anyone that you want to piggyback off of, it's Warren Buffett. Here's his Berkshire Hathaway Class B shares, not the Class A shares. Class B shares, 407. Had this high right here, all-time high. Had the nice pullback. Pulling back to the 20-day moving average. You know what that means, people. This is your higher probability setup. Got overbought on the RSI, had the pullback. But here it is again. Um, you know Warren Buffett, he's an amazing investor. Why would you think it's going to keep going down? Connecting with the 20-day moving average. You know what my thoughts are here. This is probably your high, This is your higher probability setup to get long for the next leg higher. Mark my words, 407. If you want to... Uh, you know, take a look at another options trading strategy. Let me go back to our website here real quick. In our services tab here, go to the shop link right down here. There's a, uh, a another ebook that I wrote about, um, let's see, come on now. It's not working. Hold on. Let me try one more time. Shop. All right. Well, something's not happening not working with my website you go to the go to my website on your computer go to the shop tab and pull up there's a there's an ebook that i wrote about uh warren buffett and, and a, another option trading strategy let me there it is right there the secret to buying warren buffett for pennies on the dollar if you're, if you're interested it's another option trading strategy to piggyback off this guy he's incredible all right so let's go back to the charts let's try to wrap this thing up here uh let's see what else we have um google kind of oh we talked about google last week we drew the congestion pattern i thought it was going to break higher only because the market had been moving up or the stock had been moving up typically when you get the congestion pattern it will move out eventually in the direction from where it had been coming from surprisingly it went to the downside so if you're looking at google maybe for the long run you know it's coming upon the 200 day moving average this is typically the last line of support so you may have a buying opportunity down here next week if it comes down a little bit more and then um, see how it interacts with the 200 day moving average but you know it's had a nice up move everything else is moving up so keep an eye on google for potential next move higher um uh, that's about it uh, you know we wanted to look at some other stocks that really aren't doing anything um you know we got stocks like Kraft Heinz just not really going anywhere um Verizon which we've also sold put on, puts on that's had a nice little move up kind of hugging along the 50 day moving average um one that surprised me this week was Hormel um you know a favored dividend paying stock had earnings surprised everybody had this blast higher but look it got caught right on the 200 day moving average and got knocked back down there's a lot of stocks out there that really aren't doing much you know it's these big nasdaq stocks that just keep driving everything higher procter and gamble doing okay let's look at pepsi for a second where's my pepsi pepsi just kind of stuck in a rut here just moving sideways um what was the other stock i wanted to show you not procter and gamble um, I don't have it on here. Um, well, there's a lot of stocks that just aren't really doing anything. Cisco kind of, let me get rid of that. Cisco kind of meandering sideways. 
Thank you for your message. Just, you know, there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of stocks that just really aren't doing much. Um, what else can I show you that's not really going here? Pfizer, BMY, some of these, we have a put sell on BMY. Some of these, uh, you know, farm healthcare stocks are just kind of meandering sideways. They're not getting that huge action like the, you know, some of these NASDAQ stocks. So anyway, that's it for the market. That's, that's it for the synopsis. You know, remember, use the trend. Okay, that's gonna help up your trading game, your options trading game. It, you're gonna do so much better, all right? If you found this video useful, I'll make these free videos for the trading community. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, leave me a comment, send me an email. In the description below in the video here, I've got some links for books and other websites and things that I use that could help you. I'm also going to put on the screen for those that are, you know, looking to buy call options, th this video that's going to come up next could give you an idea of how to become a better call option buyer. And of course, I'll put a, another put selling video on there as well. All right. That's it for me uh, today. I hope this has been helpful. You got to get ready for next week. So you got to look at your charts. OK, you got to do put in the work and look at your charts, get charts and get ready for next week. All right. Hope everyone has a great weekend. This is Lee Lowell signing off.